snow. Hey, speaking of snow, this upcoming season is supposed to be a La Nina winter, but 2020 was also a La Nina winter. A back to back La Nina could mean instead of more precipitation, it could actually be drier than it was last year. So what are we in store for? Our meteorologist Jim Duthie breaks down our winter weather outlook. The long, hot, dry summer is behind us, along with the record-breaking fire season for the West. And now we're seeing the cooler, wetter weather of fall. Winter is just around the corner, and we're all wondering if it will bring us the much-needed rain and snow that we're all hoping for. And with that in mind, there is some optimistic news, a developing long-term weather pattern that might just give us what we need. We've all heard of El Nino and La Nina, two very different weather phenomena that can have an impact on our weather here in Idaho. Both of these extremes are part of what's referred to as ENSO, or the El Nino Southern Oscillation. It's a recurring climate pattern involving changes in the temperature of the water in the eastern tropical Pacific. When the ocean water is warmer or colder than normal, the atmosphere above it and the typical storm tracks are affected. Each of these patterns will lead to winter weather across the U.S. being either warmer or colder than normal and either wetter or drier than normal. In a nutshell, El Nino is when the sea surface temperature over the eastern Pacific is warmer than normal for a prolonged period of time. The typical easterly trade winds along the equator weaken and sometimes even blow in the opposite direction, from west to east, and that disrupts the normal weather patterns around the globe. The name El Nino refers to the baby Jesus because the phenomenon becomes more pronounced around Christmas time. The opposite of El Nino is La Nina, when the eastern Pacific becomes cooler than normal, and those easterly winds along the equator become even stronger. These changes in water temperature and global wind patterns often result in big changes in weather patterns elsewhere. Usually, but not always, La Nina leads to cooler and wetter winters across the northern U.S., including Idaho and warmer and drier conditions over the southern U.S. Last winter, Idaho experienced La Nina conditions, which led to near-normal mountain snowpack, although the following spring turned out to be warm and dry. This year, another La Nina is developing that will have an impact on our upcoming winter here in Idaho. It suggests that we should see a winter with near or slightly colder than normal temperatures. As far as precipitation, it also suggests near or slightly wetter than normal precipitation, especially with regards to our winter snowpack. That would be good news given our drought and low water supplies. And there's a catch. Idaho climate data suggests that when we have two consecutive La Nina winters, like this one, the second one is always drier than the first one. Remember, La Nina isn't just one or two storms, but rather a general trend of overall winter conditions over several months. With that in mind, here's the latest winter projections for Idaho, as well as adjacent areas of the Pacific Northwest and the Northern Rockies. Temperatures? Overall, average to somewhat colder than average conditions, even though there will be occasional periods of mild weather. And precipitation? Most of the region is likely to see a wetter than average winter, although there will be periods of dry weather too. But that doesn't necessarily mean more snowfall in the Treasure Valley. So what does that mean? Will this winter's La Nina bring us enough rain and snow to fill the reservoirs and replenish our water supply? That remains to be seen. But this past October was much wetter than normal, and the first half of November has brought above normal snowpack, although it's still too early to tell if this is a trend for the rest of the winter. In the meantime, think snow. For Idaho's News Channel 7, I'm meteorologist Jim Duthie.